Hey there, Luke again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your call sheet. This is one of my favorite parts of Set Hero, and I think you're going to love it too. So let's dive in. All right, so I've got my finished call sheet here. It's looking really good. All I have to do to publish it is go over to this publish step. Now, here I'm going to go through the publishing wizard. There's four steps you can see marked out here above. The first step is to select my recipients. By toggling this down, I can see all of my crew and check the people that I want to send the call sheet to. I can also do that with my cast. And I have all these, I have these handy buttons that allow me to, you know, select everyone or deselect everyone or select only people listed on the call sheet. Regardless of how you select them, once you've got everyone selected, you're going to go to the next step, which is to customize your email message. Now, by default, we're sending the call sheet via email, and we've set all this up for you. However, you can customize this as you wish. So if you want to change the subject line of the email, you can toggle this over to custom and uh, type whatever you want. All right. Um, we generally recommend sticking with the predetermined template, but you can do whatever you want. Um, for the sender name, you're going to choose your sender name. You can specify a reply to email address, so make sure this is an email that you can get replies at. Um, and then there's some other options as well. You can customize the styling, change the, the colors of the, the header. Um, you can even choose a simple style if you want a simpler formatting option. Um, and then lastly, you can specify a custom message. So by just typing here, um, I can add that message to my email. And this is great for highlighting information that you really want people to get across and really want them to read this when they open their email. Oops, made that a little bit too big. Here, I can select that. There are some formatting options you can play around with here. And of course, you can include links as well, which is a very valuable thing if you have like a form you need someone to fill out or anything like that. All right, um, once the email looks good to you, you can click over to this texting option. Um, we really recommend sending the call sheet by text as well. It's just a, a extra backup option to make sure that people are getting it both by email and by text, make sure they don't miss the memo. And the other cool thing about a text message is it's customized um, exactly to your recipient. So they're gonna get their name and their call time. If your actor has, say, a half an hour pre-call, so they're coming in before everyone else, they're not going to get the general call time in their text message. They will get their individual call time. Um, this really helps make sure people are looking at the right time and showing up when they are supposed to be there. All right, when that looks good, you'll hit next step. This is just going to give you a summary of everything, make sure everything looks good, and then when you're ready, you'll hit approve and send. Now I'm going to do this real quick um, for this demo, and I'm just going to select my name so that I'm not publishing the call sheet to a bunch of people. Um, great. So I'll hit approve and send. This usually takes about 15 seconds to go through the publishing process, all those servers churning in the background, generating the PDF. And then once it's done, it will send that call sheet out to everybody and mark the call sheet as published. Now you'll notice right away, on my schedule page that that call sheet is now blue and I have this button called view confirmations. So when I click on that, I'm going to see um, the list of everyone that I've sent the call sheet to. It's also going to show the latest status of that call sheet. And um, I can also hover over these individual status icons to read more about the status. I can see the text message was delivered. Um, when I loaded this page, the email was queued, but I bet if I go up here and refresh, yep, that email has been delivered. Um, you can also resend the call sheet to individual people or you know, click this drop down to remove access to the call sheet or to preview the call sheet. Um, and of course, you can do this with multiple people all at the same time as well. So let me open the call sheet email that I received. Um, okay, here it is. So you can see that it looks just like it did in the preview. It's got all the PDFs attached, both the call sheet PDF and then any custom attachments I've added. And if I click View and Confirm, 
So now as a crew member, I'm opening up this uh, link and it's asking me to confirm my call time right here, front and center. When I click on that, I'll get a success message. And then what's really cool is back here on this end, when this refreshes, I'm gonna notice that the call sheet has been viewed and then also the call sheet has been confirmed. And so this, this person is now in the confirmed status. Um, lastly, over here on my mobile call sheet, I have access to all the information that I would on my full PDF call sheet. Um, this works very much like an app. Um, the links are click clickable. Addresses will open Google Maps. I can open my file attachments. And I can even tab around here down on the bottom to look at my scene schedule, key times from the day, a summarized list of all the locations from the day's shoot. And then one of my favorites is this contact tab. So this is um, gonna show any contacts that you've listed on the call sheet will show up here. It's click to call, click to text. So if they're on their phone, they'll just click those buttons and it will open it right up on their phone app to send them a text message or give them a phone call. And then lastly, this is also searchable, which is really awesome. So if I'm looking for someone specific like um, Ryan, I can type that in and then go from there. So this is super handy. It's really helpful. Um, over 90% of call sheets are viewed on mobile devices. So we really tried to make this mobile friendly and optimized for an on the go experience. And lastly, you can always access the complete call sheet PDF right here at this button and at this link, this flashing banner that is at the top of the mobile call sheet. So we always want to have that PDF available um, for people to access if they want to. And that's it. That's how you publish the call sheet. So I hope this has been enjoyable. Um, th this is one of the best parts of Set Hero, and people love getting those text messages and having the confirmed um, status viewing right here within the app. It, it makes it super seamless to make sure everyone has got the message and is on the same page. So thanks for watching. Happy filmmaking and have a great one.